What is up there YouTube? This is J-Man Time and today I have a video on some homemade tanks and armored fighting vehicles of the second Libyan civil war of 2016 through 2020. And this war might not end for another few months or maybe another year or two. Since about 2014, 2016, Libya has been in a state of a second civil conflict. The first Libyan civil war or conflict began in 2011, which was basically just a giant coup to overthrow the Gaddafi government and install a pro-US, pro-NATO government in Libya. Ultimately, this would fail and Libya currently, since 2014, has been in a state of civil war involving a variety of different factions. Now, currently, the two main factions fighting in the Libyan civil war are the GNA and the LNA. The GNA being the Government of National Accord, backed by Turkey and Italy and some other NATO countries, while the LNA, or the Libyan National Army, is backed by Russia, Egypt, and Greece. And as a result, these two main factions have been manufacturing some homemade improvised armored fighting vehicles and some homemade infantry support vehicles. There have been other factions that have come and gone over the years, for example, the Libyan Don Party, the Faj Libya, and Petroleum Guard, which was literally just a oil company that had control over various cities in Libya. You also had jihadi groups like Ansar al-Islam and the Islamic State, or ISIS, also trying to hold territory in Libya during the course of this second civil conflict. So let's go over some of the homemade armored fighting vehicles of the second Libyan civil war. And the first vehicle on the list is the triple Italian T-54-55 bunker, which is literally a mobile pillbox or bunker that was constructed using an old T-54-55 battle tank that has been rebuilt into an armored fortress. And these have been spotted since at least 2016. And they are used by both sides in this conflict, both the GNA and LNA forces, and they first appeared during the Battle of Tripoli in 2016. These vehicles are armed with either one 12.7mm DSHK heavy machine gun, or in some cases they are fitted with 106mm recoilless guns, and usually have an RPG-7 as a backup weapon. The weight of these vehicles is 30 to 36 tons, and they had an armor thickness of 33 to 130 millimeters. The speed of these vehicles are 48 kilometers per hour or 30 miles per hour, and only about six or seven of these have been spotted so far. These were originally built by the Misratan militia, which is based out of the city of Misrata, but they have also appeared in the hands of other GNA factions and in the hands of some Libyan National Army or LNA factions also during both the Battles of Tripoli but also the Battle of Sirte. In 2016, ISIS had taken over the city of Sirte and during a two-year-long battle, the GNA forces had to recapture the city of Sirte and they used some of these triple Atenian T-54-55 bunker um, homemade armored fortresses or armored pillboxes. So these vehicles are pretty interesting and it is one of the few modifications to the old T-54-55 chassis you can see ro rolling around or roaming around on the Libyan battlefield. Another vehicle that was manufactured in Misrata is the Misrata Cert Micromeus, which is a nickname for an improvised infantry support vehicle that was constructed from an old Soviet MTLBU infantry support vehicle or amphibious armored fighting vehicle or amphibious armored personnel carrier. And this vehicle was first spotted in 2016 during the Battle of Sirt between the GNA forces and the Islamic State or ISIS. And this is literally just an old amphibious armored fighting vehicle that has been rebuilt into a infantry support vehicle. And it is fitted with one 23mm ZPU-2. There, there have also been other versions fitted with the four-barrel ZPU-4 23mm autocannon systems. The weight of this vehicle is 15.5 to 20 tons, and it had an armor thickness of about 10 to 200 millimeters maximum. 
The speed is 30 kilometers per hour or 24 miles per hour, and only a handful of these have ever been spotted on the battlefields of Libya. It is a very interesting vehicle modification, but it is basically just an old MTLBU amphibious infantry fighting vehicle being used as an infantry support vehicle for land battles. Another vehicle spotted in the Tripoli region is the Tripolitanian T-54 BTR-60 PB fusion or, or combination vehicle. And this is literally a T-55 battle tank fused together with a Soviet-made BTR-60 infantry fighting vehicle, creating what is basically a Frankenstein improvised cavalry tank or improvised infantry support tank. And this one was spotted also in 2016 and was most likely constructed by the Misratan militia again, as most of the photos come from the Misratan media outlet based in the city of Misrata. The main armament, the main armament of this vehicle is one 14.5 mm KPVT heavy machine gun and one 7.62 mm PKT coaxial machine gun. The armor thickness and speed is pretty much the same as a T-54-55 and these were used by the National Salvation Government. The National Salvation Government, also known as Libya Don, was the early form of the GNA forces that were that operated in Libya starting in 2016. Another vehicle spotted on the front lines in Libya is the Kadab El Wash Snakehead Infantry Fighting Vehicle or Turreted Armored Personnel Carriers from 2019. These were Jordanian APCs that were imported originally in 2014 and 2015, but most of these were worn out and were later rebuilt in 2019 with a new turret and new weapons. The, the main armament is one 12.7 mm DSK 50 caliber heavy machine gun, and some of these are also fitted with 106 mm recoilless guns. There are even some versions that mount a much larger Soviet-made ATMG or anti-tank guided missile systems. It's the Russians have supplied Libya with a variety of different anti-tank guided missile launchers. So this vehicle system here is basically an all-in-one wheeled armored personnel carrier. It is both a wheeled personnel carrier but can also be used as an infantry fighting vehicle. The weight of this vehicle is 18 tons. It uses the Stanag Level 2 Ballistic Protection, which has about 6 to 10 millimeters of armor. The speed of this vehicle is 110 kilometers per hour, or 69 miles per hour, and she's able to carry two troops and has a crew of two. It is also able to carry two troops also. And these are mostly used by the Libyan National Army, or the LNA forces, starting in 2014 originally in their original configuration, but they have also have been spotted more recently during the Tripoli Offensive in late 2019 through mid-2020. Another infantry fighting vehicle also comes from the Tripoli region, and that is the Tripolitanian M1151 Hummer series, or HMMWV. And these are actually imported American-made infantry support vehicles that were originally sent in 2016 to fight the Islamic State Group, or ISIS, but have since been rebuilt or modified into heavy infantry support vehicles, some of these receiving armor modifications, or upgraded armor, or hobo armor as they call it, improvised armor. The main armament of these vehicles is usually one 12.7 millimeter machine gun, or one 106 mm recoilless gun, and there is another version that is fitted with a 90 mm French made Panhard AML gun. The weight of this vehicle is between 8.5 and 10 tons, and she also has the Stanag level 1 through 3 armor protection. The speed of this vehicle is 89 kilometers per hour or 55 miles per hour and they have been spotted in use with both the GNA and LNA forces 
mostly during the Tripoli Offensive since the late 2019 through 2020, although these were originally built to fight the Islamic State group, also known as ISIS in the West, in the desert regions of Libya, especially around the city Sirte and the Sirte region. During the battles of Sirte and Nophilia, which is another city that is adjacent to Sirte, the most common infantry support vehicle or homemade infantry support vehicle spotted in the Libyan war is the to Toyota Land Cruiser Special 79. And this is actually a very old concept, taking the old 1980s vintage Toyota Model 79 pickup truck and converting them into partially armored technicals or infantry fighting vehicles. And this was first done during the Libyan Chad War of the late late 1970s and early 1980s and this has been brought back first during the first Libyan Civil War of 2011 and the current Libyan Civil Conflict since 2014. But since 2016 these vehicle modifications have appeared on the battlefield more frequently especially in the hands of both the GNA and LNA forces, and especially during the ongoing battles in the Tripoli and CERT regions since late 2019 and throughout 2020. The main armament of these vehicles are one 12mm heavy machine gun, one 106mm recoilless gun, and in some cases one 23mm DU-23-2 anti-aircraft autocannons which are usually used as ground weapons, but these have been slapped on to these Toyota Land Cruiser Model 79 pickup trucks. The armor thickness on some of these vehicles is about 3 to 5 millimeters of improvised armor, and these vehicles have a speed of 165 kilometers per hour. And they are pretty much the most common of the improvised armored fighting vehicles being used today on the modern Libyan battlefield. Another modification vehicle is the Russian-made Kras Kruger. And these are actually utility vehicles that have been supplied to the LNA forces or the Libyan National Army since 2016. And these were originally supplied to help fight ISIS again and another jihadi group known as Ansar al-Sharia in the cities of Derna and Sirte region. And these were these have been rebuilt or rearmored and have been given an improvised armored turret mounting a 12.7 millimeter heavy machine gun or in some cases a 106 millimeter recoilless gun or in some rare cases a Soviet made or Russian made modern ATMG or anti tank guided missile system. The weight of these vehicles is about 2.5 to 3.5 tons, making them extremely light for an armored fighting vehicle, and they had a speed of about 160 kilometers an hour, pretty much the same as the Toyota, but this is a Russian Kras Kruger model of utility vehicle that has been modified into a improvised armored patrol vehicle for the Libyan National Army or LNA. Let's go over some of the homemade artillery systems and anti-aircraft systems. The first one that I could find, and the oldest one I could find, was the Libyan Don DIY 2K12 SAM, or Surface to Air Missile System. And this is actually an improvised mobile anti-aircraft system that dates back to about 2015 2016. And these were built by the Libya Don government before they were later taken over by the GNA forces, although some of these were also captured by the LNA forces. And these were built from the leftover components of the Soviet-made SA-6 Gainful and the Soviet-made 2K-12 Akub anti-aircraft missile systems, or at least the missile launchers of those anti-aircraft systems, and these have been fused to an Italian-made Puma 6x6 armored fighting vehicle. So you have this uh, hodgepodge or Frankenstein anti-aircraft missile battery that has been constructed on an Italian AFV, a 6x6 wheeled AFV, and a small number of these have been built since about 2015. The weight of these vehicles is 12 tons, and they have a speed of 110 kilometers per hour 
or 70 miles per hour, but only a few of these have been built and a handful of these still survive, mostly in the LNA forces, as most of these were stationed in the Sirt region after the defeat of ISIS, and later on the Sirt region was recaptured was captured by the LNA forces in 2020, in 2019, 2020, and these missile systems were later captured. This is one of the reasons why the GNA forces don't have any anti-aircraft weapons, as a lot of their anti-aircraft systems were based in the CERT region and were later captured by the LNA forces during the 2019 through 2020 Tripoli Offensive. Another homemade rocket system is the Toyota Special 79 MLR. And these are actually pretty old too. These are improvised uh, multiple rocket launching technicals that were first unveiled in 2011 during the overthrow of the Gaddafi government and have since resurfaced, although looking a bit more advanced, since, 20, since 2014. The main armament of these vehicles is one the 57mm Soviet-made UB-32 rocket pod, which are normally used on Soviet-era attack helicopters like the Mi-24 Hyde, for example. And these have been fused to a Toyota Special 79 Land Cruiser. The weight of these vehicles is between 2.5 and 3.5 tons, and the speed of these vehicles is 65 kilometers per hour, but only a few of these more modern modifications have been made Made since the start of the second Libyan civil war. There is another version of this vehicle used by the GNA forces in Tripoli and these, this version is the Toyota Special 79 MLR number 2 or model 2 and these are pretty much a mobile improvised multiple rocket launchers based on the old model 1979 Toyota Land Cruiser except this one is fitted with a old M933 um, surface-to-air missiles as improvised surface-to-ground rockets and these are mounted on the old Toyota Land Cruisers and have been spotted in the hands of the GNA forces based in the Tripoli region. So basically you have some anti-aircraft missiles being used as a cheap air-to-ground rockets which doesn't make any sense but you know this is Libya in 2020. Another slightly more interesting system is the Tarahuna 9M33 SPAS, which is an improvised mobile anti-aircraft platform system that was first unveiled in 2018 by the LNA forces or Libyan National Army forces during the first Tripoli offensive in 2018. These are actually MLRs or multiple rocket launching systems that also double as anti-aircraft platforms. And these are literally just old Czechoslovakian RM-70 MLR multiple rocket launching systems that have been modified to have an anti-aircraft system mounted on the rear end of the vehicle. The weight of these vehicles is 33.7 tons and they have a speed of 85 kilometers per hour or 53 miles per hour. Only a handful of these have been spotted in the hands of LNA forces and they were mostly used to engage GNA aircraft. Now keep in mind both the LNA and GNA forces have their own separate air forces. And these air forces are supplied by both the Turks, the Italians, the Russians, and the Egyptians. So as a result, both sides have to make their own anti-aircraft missile batteries in order to deal with opposing aircraft coming from the opposing side. And this Tarahuna vehicle was spotted in 2018, or was constructed in 2018, in the city of Tarahuna, which was at one point in time controlled by the LNA forces. Another improvised vessel, and this is a one-off design, is a Libyan Navy or Coast Guard patrol boat that was spotted in 2017. And this is literally just a old, an old um, Gaddafi era tugboat that has been rebuilt with one 106mm recoilless gun and several 23mm autocannons. And this was actually spotted in a news report by the YouTube channel known as Africa Live and they were doing a report on the Libyan Navy trying to stop both ISIS, which was still which is still in existence to a limited extent in Libya, 
We're trying to stop ISIS while also trying to stop migrants from both escaping and coming to Libya. Which is pretty strange. And then that brings me to the next improvised gunboat. And this was actually built by ISIS, the Islamic State. And this is the BTR-60 PB gunboat. This is literally a BTR infantry fighting vehicle that has been rebuilt into a motor gunboat. And this was spotted in the city of Derna in 2016. Now, in 2016-2017, the city of Derna and the Derna region was under the control of both ISIS and an Al-Qaeda affiliate known as, as Ansar al-Islam. And they basically controlled this region, and they constructed some of their own improvised armored fighting vehicles. And this here is one of them. Now, ISIS needed a navy, so they were trying to convert this BTR-60 into an improvised motor gun gunboat, kind of like what you would see in World War One and Two, but using a 1960s era armored fighting vehicle instead. And this vehicle had a main armament of one 14.5 millimeter heavy machine gun and one 7.62 millimeter coaxial machine gun. The speed is unknown because uh, this ship never sailed and it was captured by the Libyan National Army when they controlled the city when they took over the city in 2017. What happened to this vessel after 2017 is largely unknown, but I assume that it was probably scrapped by the LNA forces. Another homemade ISIS monstrosity was the Benghazi Rat King, which was literally a T-5455 and a BTR-60 slapped together in a even more lazier way than the first one I mentioned on this list. And this was a homemade cavalry tank that was converted in 2015 and was later captured in 2016 during the Battle of Benghazi, which occurred between the Islamic State and the Libyan National Army in the region. This vehicle had a main armament of one 14.5 mm KPVT heavy machine gun and one 7.62 mm coaxial machine gun. And this was later captured in 2016, and was most likely dismantled or scrapped afterwards. Or it could have just been abandoned. No one actually knows what happened to this vehicle after 2016. Another jihadi group, the Ansar El Islam group, was also involved in the Battle of Benghazi in 2015. And they constructed a homemade multiple rocket launcher known as the El Zawi-1 which was literally just a Toyota Special 79 Land Cruiser rebuilt or at least modified to or at least fitted with several rocket pods. And these were fitted with one 107mm El Zawiya 1 um, heavy infantry support rocket launcher or rocket launching system and several smaller 57mm rockets that were taken from the Soviet made UB 32 rocket launcher. And these were used during the Al-Qaeda offensive in Benghazi, which occurred around the same time as the ISIS takeover of Benghazi in 2015. And then you have one more vehicle, or weapon system in this case, that was constructed by an Al-Qaeda affiliate known as the Farj Libya Brigade, which was literally another Al-Qaeda affiliate. This was one of the Al-Qaeda civil war moments where Faj Libya and literally Ansar El Sharia and ISIS were all fighting each other for who would control the city of Benghazi in 2015 through 2016. And this weapon system here was known as the Farj S-24, which was literally an improvised artillery rocket launching system from 2015, and they basically took the old 107mm S-24 rockets and pretty much made a improvised rocket launching pad or rocket launcher system for it. Um, and this is pretty much a, a jury rigged weapon system. What happened to this weapon system after 2016 is unknown as Benghazi was later taken over by the LNA when they launched their own offensive against both the Al-Qaeda and ISIS fighters between 2016 and 2017. And that's basically it. These were some of the homemade armored fighting vehicles and weapon systems that I could find from the second Libyan civil war that were constructed by the various Libyan factions 
which of these were your favorite, please tell me in the comments section below. And until next time, this was J-Man Time, signing off.